Hi everybody, this is Bastion and today we're going to take a look at the Cochrane Gamut. So the Cochrane Gamut is a variation of the Russian game, which starts out with e4, e5, knight to um, f3, knight to f6, so I'm playing white here. Knight takes d6 to chase away the knight, and now knight takes pawn on f7. So this sacrifice is unsound, but it starts a king hunt and move four. And actually, black will need an iron defense if he wants to maintain the advantage. So I've annotated a game against um, Firefly, a strong engine, which I will post on YouTube. But that took about 10 to 15 minutes to move to uh, get myself familiar with uh, the playing style and the tactics because. I typically don't play this way, however I am going to post a live game as well, so we are going to see it now, and my opponent will be a 1900 yellow rating engine called uh, Chesterfield. Uh, the engine is probably a lot stronger, but sometimes it makes rook pawn moves, which allows for a lower rating, so I'll uh, set up the engine. Now we are seeing, seeing a uh, uh, king takes knight, which is uh, the best reply, of course. Bishop to c4 check. Now the book move is pawn to d5. We're seeing uh, king to e8, which is equally good, retreating the king. Now I would suggest d4, which um, takes quick control of the center. Uh, e4 is hanging, so we're seeing knight takes pawn, but this actually helps white in clearing up the e-file. So the important thing in this playing style is not to think material-wise and we need to sacrifice a few pawns and a few pieces in order to maintain a king hunt. And After knight takes pawn we can castle and bring a rook to e1 and this king will be stuck in the middle. h5 a typical Chesterfield move so simply rook to e1 e5, um, this um, solidifies the center a little bit, takes the knight on e4, attacks the bishop on c4, so we're going to sacrifice the bishop with bishop takes pawn, this is a temporary sacrifice, queen recaptures and now knight to c3, and this uh, forks queen and knight and allows for a double attack on the knight with knight and rook. Of course the knight cannot recapture because of the pin on the king. We're seeing queen to f7 and now I can recapture my sacrifice piece. One of the two actually, but we can choose knight or rook recaptures. I'm going to play rook recaptures because it gains tempo on the enemy king. Bishop to e7, so I can develop the tempo. Bring more pressure on the piece on e7. And black will have to waste moves and protect this piece. We're seeing knight to c6, allowing another defender. Now I cannot play knight to d5 just yet because of simply queen takes. Now we'll be down a piece, but I can increase pressure on e7 by playing queen to e1 or queen to e2, strengthening the e-file. Now queen to e2 is best because it allows rook to e1, we're seeing king to d8, so the king is getting off of the open file. Now I need to remove a defender, so I'm going to attack the bishop on e7, and I have two ways of doing it, rook takes or bishop takes. And again, we don't have to think material wise, uh, bishop takes, bishop is playable, but uh, rook takes is stronger, simply because it maintains the spin on the king. So knight recaptures. Now knight to d5. Of course queen cannot recapture otherwise it's queen takes knight mate. And now knight cannot recapture because of the pin. So we're seeing the, seeing the strength of this bishop. So king goes to d7 off of the pin. Knight takes knight, stripping another defender.
rookie eight, rookie one. C6, so Black will try to escape and get some safety behind the pawn shield. So we're going to attack this pawn at once by playing onto d5. King goes to d7, but actually it's not all that safe because I can take control of this diagonal by playing uh, queen to e5 check. Uh, king to b6, so the king is in front of the pawns. So we can continue to target the king. So now we're going to play rook lift. Rook to e3 or e4 are fine. e4 is probably best. Bishop to g4. Rook check. This frees up the c7 square for the queen. And at c7 I can play b takes b7. Uh, so now we're seeing desperation moves. Black is already in a forced mate um, in a few moves. So um, sacrificing pieces just to live one more turn. The game is already over. Typical computer moves. And made that move turkey. So this is a typical example of a Cochrane Gambit. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great evening.